morning everybody my hair is like really bad I just brushed it too why is it whatever I can't believe it's finally 2017 two zero one seven no more of this 16 bull crap that we've been having I mean, I'm ready to start a no whole new year. 2016 is far behind us. I, I mean, yeah, it was just yesterday. I'm like, it's far behind me. I'm, t I, I'm done with 16. 2016 honestly was one of the crappiest years of almost 17 years of my life, to be honest. Like for one, Donald Trump got elected in office and stuff, so he's gonna be our new president. So these next years, hopefully, he'll turn out to be like Obama, where he does some good things. But at the same time, I kind of seriously doubt it. To be honest, this election was just crappy in general, and I really wish there were some better candidates, but there weren't. They all, I mean, there's some okay, but like they weren't as good as like back then, like with Abraham Lincoln and people like that. Like, I wish we could like bring past presidents back again like that, or re, -re, -re erect them or something like that. Secondly, the Cubs finally won a World Series after a hundred and eight. Year. See, I'm a St. Louis Cardinals fan, so this is shocking for me because, like, I live in Illinois, so people will be thinking I'm a Cubs fan, but I'm not. I live closer to Missouri, St. Louis, to be exact, because I'm, I'm, like, 20 minutes away from St. Louis, Missouri, so obviously I'm a Cardinals fan, and a St. Louis Blues fan for hockey. Football, I was never a Rams fan because they actually sucked really bad. Yeah, so, yeah, so for Cubs to win a World Series after 108 years is, like, super shocking. I mean, even I think the Cubs fans are a little bit shocked that their team finally won. Just a little bit, maybe? And then, third, Princess Leia died. I was so upset because I love Star Wars. Star Wars, I grew up watching that stuff. We actually went to see number three when I was a little bit younger when it first came out on like one of those drive-in movie theaters and like they had that big screen and stuff seeing that was amazing when i was growing up and stuff like you don't even know how if you guys don't watch star wars then i don't know what, why you guys don't because star wars is legit and I'm hearing that princess leia died is like one of the worst things to hear in 2016 because she just did an awesome job on the new one. I recently watched the new one. I didn't have the money or the chance to do it, but I watched it over at my cousin's house because they had it apparently. So I got to see it and I was like, oh my gosh. And she died in real life. I'm like, oh. It's weird though because in the movie, Hans died, but in real life, she died. So it's like, how is that going to work? And another one, her actual mom died, like, not too far after. It was, like, a few days, maybe, like, a day. I don't even know. I forget the actual initial date. But, yeah, she died, too. Uh, I don't remember. It was, like, Debbie something. If you guys remember her, she played in Halloween Town as the grandmother. So, it's sad because two amazing actresses, mom and daughter, died the same year. That's like really upsetting and stuff. So like 2016 basically has been like one of the hellest rides I've been on in my life. I've also lost a lot of people along the way too. Like a lot of my, uh, I lost my grandpa uh, a little bit after my birthday, six days after my birthday to be exact. Celebrated a whole year since my one grandma died. Uh, I think it was 10 years I celebrated that my one grandmother died in uh, February. So, yeah. So, yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to start a new year. I'm going to start being more independent on myself. I have a lot of things I want to accomplish this year, considering that I'll be turning 17 in March. Like, I'm almost an adult. I mean, I've been acting like one, but I'm going to act like one even more. I'm going to start cutting, cutting people out of my life. Not like all of them, but just like the ones who haven't benefited me at all. Instead, they just brought me down to this lower self and stuff. And I also really want to improve on my YouTube as well. YouTube is something I definitely want to see improve in 2017. I mean, I'm, I'm happy because I'm almost at 100 subscribers almost. I wish I had the actual 100. People keep subbing and unsubbing. I, that's, that's really what's getting to me is that... Like, what's the point of you guys subbing if you guys are unsub? Please don't do that. 
if you guys like my content, then great, sub. But don't sit there and go back and forth. Don't boost my numbers up to make me happy and then lower them back down to make me sad again. I can't do that. You guys are mixed my emotions. I feel like I'm pregnant and I'm not. Sheesh. <clears throat> but yeah, once I hit 100, I'm going to start doing, like, <coughs> um, the first time videos. Like, the, t the first time I did this or that or whatever telling you guys about like what I've done in my life and stuff hmm. but yeah but this happens to be the vlog first vlog of 2017 I would have done a countdown last night but I was spending time with my fam a little bit I actually like drank a little like not a lot it was like a sip here like it was like a one sip out of this uh fruity drink so it really didn't have effect on me but I took a sip just to celebrate the new year and stuff pop some like a little streamers or whatever my brother played off his trumpet I didn't I mean I was happy last night though because they were uh, John Legend he actually was playing live for like the square and stuff and he played my favorite song by him all of me if you guys don't know who John Legend is, I'm seriously disappointed because John Legend has one of the most sickest voices out there. And the song that he wrote was about his wife and stuff, like about how much he loves her and stuff. And it's so cute and romantic. Some I know some of you guys would be like, oh, it's so cheesy and crap like that. But like, I don't care. That's, that's I think it was cute. And to be honest, his music is legit. I also like the song that him and uh, Megan Trainer did. Yeah, that was a pretty good song too. So, yeah, I'm just ready for 2016. Hopefully people won't walk all over me like they did 2016. The only thing I'm going to miss about 2016, to be honest, is the fact I have to rewrite all the dates 2017. Because knowing me, I'm going to be that person who's going to take like a month or two to stop writing 1-6 on my papers and be like, oh, snap, 1-7. I guarantee I'll have teachers to be questioning it like, wait, you wrote 16, it's 17. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not used to it, I'm used to the 16, because now I get used to the 17 now. I don't like that. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but I certainly do, and I do not like it. But anyway, guys, this was vlog number one of 2017. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. <clears throat> yeah, goodbye.